Welcome to Power Electronics, experts in motor control solutions with easy to drive, variable speed drives and soft starters. The SD700 series are the flagship of Power Electronics variable speed drives. This training video is to give you an insight on a commonly used configuration used out in the field today. This particular setup is for remote stop start and speed reference via a 0 to 10 volt analog input. Once you have confirmed your wiring into the IO terminals is correct, you must ensure that motors are isolated from accidental starting before power up of the drive. On power up, as a good rule of thumb, it is always a good idea to reinitialize the drive. This ensures the drive is back to its original factory default settings. Group 1.5 Group 2 Motor Nameplate Data This is the first parameters to be added into the drive. This ensures the motor is protected correctly and the RPM is correct into the drive. Group 3 References In this group you select where your speed reference is to come from. So for this particular setup we change local to AI1 analog input 1. Group 4 inputs. Group 4.1.1. Control mode 1. Default here is local. We need to change this to number 2. Remote. In group 4.1.5, we now need to program digital input number 1. For our application, we need to program for number 5, start stop. Now scroll to G4.2, analog input 1. In this group, scaling of the analog can be performed if required. Group 5, acceleration and deceleration rates for the SD700. Default settings are already added to these parameters for your convenience, but you can go into these parameters and change these as required. Group 10, limits. In this parameter, if required, we can change the minimum and maximum speed limits of the drive. To ensure your analog is working correctly, we can show this in the visualization screens. Press and hold escape key to jump up to the visualization lines. Press star and scroll through using the plus or minus keys to the required visualization group. You can now see in the visualization screen your speed pop values moving up and down. Your analog is now working correctly. If you are happy with all your wiring to your I.O. terminals and motor connections, refit all covers to the SD700 and your motor connections. You may now start your SD700 drive by energizing digital input 1, start-stop mode. 
If at any time you require further assistance, please contact us at Power Electronics on the shown numbers.